Sisters fans, sisters fans, here we are talking about the pregnancy yet again. And over the past few hours, I've done a lot of research into whether or not Karen is just straight up tripping. Is she pregnant or is she not? Is she jumping to conclusions? Did she take a bad pregnancy test? Did Pam pee on the stick instead of Karen? Yeah, there are a lot of things to discuss. And this, in, instead of doing eight different videos, did she take a bad pregnancy test? Did Pam pee on the stick? Is Karen misinterpreting her missed period? I, I, I decided, can we just condense it into one? I feel like this video will be a lot easier for everybody instead of having to watch like eight different ones. And I will only do follow-up videos if after watching the promo for next week, I have not seen it yet. I've seen the 10 second promo, not the promo for season four, but the brief, and I mean the brief promo for next week's episode. But until I get the 30 second teaser trailer, I won't do a video on it. Unless, you know, more people come forward with, hey, Jeremy, you know, I did some research myself and here are some things I'd like to add. I promise you this will be the only video on the subject for now. But before moving forward, make sure you take a moment to hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Hit subscribe as we close in on 200,000 subscribers. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. And hit the bell icon to select all. That way you stay notified whenever I post content on the channel. So last night's episode was kind of a doozy. Karen is pretty much in a mood because throughout the entire scene with her and Zach at the salon, I mean, she is, she just dropped a whole bomb on Zach about being pregnant. Pretty much just straight up assumes that it's his baby, even though the man is just asking the right questions. Don't you dare ask who else, who else I've been with. Well, you have been with Aaron, so we did it once recently. Now, that lets me know right there. Karen and Aaron had unprotected sex. Because in my mind, here's how I interpreted the scene. If Karen admitted to having sex with Aaron, she would have said, yes, we had sex, but we used protection unlike when you and I did it. Now, she also said recently, as in, Aaron and I had sex recently, but that means he definitely can't be the father because it was too soon or not that long ago. However, when trying to look into this stuff, because there's a difference between the missed period as well as the pregnancy test. Now, it says here that LiveScience.com, urine pregnancy tests, which are the ones that Zach bought from the store, Urine pregnancy test can detect levels of HCG, which I have no idea what that is, and I did not want to find out. Look, we live in a day and age where I'm afraid to type in something because you don't know if you're just trying to find articles and whatnot, but then you know Google images will pop up like ah that, that's me, I don't like that. Okay. Urine pregnancy test can detect levels of HCG about 10 days after conception. Look. I have not been keeping track of this stuff. Somebody did. Actually, somebody did. Let me find it. Uh, I screenshotted this person's comment or live stream, uh, live screen, a live stream chat a while ago. And um, I think I got it here. I'm just waiting for the photo to load because this person went above and beyond and I was so impressed. So just to give you context here, this screenshot was from December 11th. So basically this past Saturday. And it is from a Tori Dorset. She says, I was the one who explained the timeline on why I thought Karen wasn't pregnant according to the wardrobe of Fatima. It has only been uh, six days, but this is Tyler Perry we're talking about. I posted this on another review page. This is what I wrote. Um, look, I counted Fatima's outfits in season three. And the sister has only changed six times. The grocery store scene when Karen and Zach slept together earlier that day. That night she went out with homeboy she had on a blue dress. The next day Fatima had a green dress. Zach confronts her at the office. And that same night they have sex after Andy had a fiasco with Gary. 
the next day, uh, Fatima had a yellow dress. He tried to sneak out. That night, she confronted Hayden, and they talked about um, her uh, past, I believe, or her past. Next day, red dress. They established their relationship. The next day, a black dress. She sees the house that Zach is looking to buy. That night, she had on the lingerie blue. My God. Oh, God, I remember that well. The next day, she had the pink slit pants set, changes to black pants and shirt to meet with Andy at the hotel. And that's the same night that Zach and Fatima said they love each other. And the next day, the blue dress present. Now, how the hell is Karen pregnant? Come on, Tyler, do better. That actually makes sense. Because remember, um, the research I did said that around 10 days or about 10 days after conception is where the urinary test can actually detect a pregnancy. And if we're only basing this off of the time that Karen and Zach had sex in the salon, but a lot of people have said it's highly unlikely that he climaxed before Aaron came in. So it's possible that despite them banging each other, they didn't get to finish. Kind of like at the hotel when Aaron was up in Karen, but Zach interrupted. This is the most inconsistent, or excuse me, this is the thing we need to see most. Karen actually going to a doctor to determine whether or not she's pregnant. Now, I did more research, and I was, you know, I talked to my mom and sister about this. I'm just like, look, I'm, hey, I just got a question. And I hate asking these questions to people, even like if I got friends in the medical field. Jeremy, what you been up to? I'm asking about a show. I don't do anything. <laughs> I ain't messing around with a woman. Okay, so I just said, look, if a woman misses her period, is it possible to have different reasons why she missed a period other than being pregnant? And there are they just listed off a whole, a lot of things. A lot of things. Missing a period could be alarming but that's not the first sign, or excuse me, yeah. Missing a period could be alarming since most women assume they're pregnant, but there are a lot of reasons why a woman could miss her period, and pregnancy is not one of those reasons. So I found an article uh, on Healthline.com, and it said, you know, hey, worried about a late period, but no, you're not pregnant. Missed or late periods happen for Many reasons other than pregnancy. Common causes can range from hormonal imbalances to serious medical conditions. Uh, let's see here. And I'm going to try to read through these eight. I'm pretty much going to, you know, read you like number one is this, but then pretty much, you know, skip over it if I don't think it's in relation to Karen. Number one, stress. Okay, that's Karen all over. Stress can throw off your hormones, change your daily routine, and even affect the part of your brain responsible for regulating your period. Uh, your hypothalamus. I don't know how the hell to say it. Over time, stress can lead to illness or sudden weight gain or loss, all of which can impact your, impact your cycle. Okay, Um. yeah. If there was a main reason for why she might be missing her period, think of everything Karen has been going through lately. From her business falling apart because Isaiah left and took a bunch for clientele with her. To finding out about Zach and Fatima. To trying to balance out her feelings for Aaron while f still feeling Zach. Despite the fact there have been at least 20 times in the series. Where she has straight up left Zach high and dry. No need for a conclusion or closure. She just chose Aaron. She wanted to, to see how things would go with him. And now all of a sudden she needs closure to move on. So stress, if there was a main reason outside of pregnancy why she missed her uh, period, I would say stress. Uh, next thing is low body weight. I mean, she's a... Uh, is petite the correct word to use for a woman who's relatively small? If that's the case, I'm not saying that's Karen's uh, situation of low body weight being the reason why she misses a period. No. Uh, wait, this article skips number three. For some reason weird uh number four pcos uh a condition that causes your body to produce more of the male hormone huh i don't know i'm skipping this one 
birth control you may experience a change in your cycle when you go on or off birth control those pills contain the hormones which prevent your ovaries from releasing eggs it can take up to six months for your cycle to become consistent again after stopping the pill i don't recall that there's ever been a mention of karen taking birth control in the series if there has been please inform me of the episode i will try to look it up but if that is the case then that makes sense Chronic diseases, diabetes, cell... No, I don't think that's it. Uh, early pre permenopause. menopause That's something that's said to occur with women between 45 to 55 because that's when they start um, feeling menopause. Women who develop symptoms around age 40 or earlier are considered to have early perimenopause. This means your egg supply is winding down and the result will be missed periods and eventually the end of men menstruation. Number eight is thyroids. I don't think that's it. But let's go back to number seven because go back to the first episode. Yet again, I'm going to, I feel like I'm going to reference this paragraph that I have in my notes here in the next several videos relating to pregnancy. Karen's at the clinic to get the results of the STD test she took. They're negative. But the doctor, you know, she's in there for a physical anyway. The doctor she's talking to says, Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, well, um, ma'am, since you're 36, remember, if I'm not mistaken, isn't Karen the only character who we've got an age confirmation confirmation for? Karen is 36. It might be time to think about alternatives to having children due to the fact that, you know, women who are 35 and over are in a situation where all pregnancies at that age are greater or geniatric, which means they have a higher risk of pregnancy complications. At the moment, you know, everything is fine down there. You know, she's working on Karen. And she talks about, you know, well, I think, you know, you're at the age we also need to talk about mammograms. But before that, the first thing she says, speaking of alternatives for children, you may want to think about freezing eggs. And what did it just say about, you know, early signs of menopause for women who are 40 or earlier? And she is 36. Your egg supply is winding down and the results will be missed, period. So I'm going to be completely honest here. I still say we're all speculating until we actually see Karen go to a doctor, take the pregnancy test, get, you know, checked out and everything and possibly learn how far along she's into the pregnancy. It's up in the air as to who the father is. This is Tyler Perry writing, by the way. So keep that in mind. But at the moment, I would say if she's pregnant, okay, I have to give it to her. It's probably Zach's baby. Because even though it said in my research that the urine test can be, you know, pretty accurate, so to speak, within 10 days or so of conception. Now, if we follow the timeline that uh, Miss Tori put on one of my videos, I think that when it comes to when Aaron and Karen had sex, which was in season three, it was only a few days ago, as opposed to when her and Zach got it on in the, uh, in the salon. So I feel like an argument could be made that at the moment it's probably Zach's as opposed to Aaron's, but we just don't know. I feel like there are a lot of factors we haven't been able to be made aware to as an audience you know like i said she needs to go to an actual doctor not take some random pregnancy test because look as a guy myself i don't know which test to get i'm like i'll, I'll, I'll be like zach let me get one of everything i don't know what the hell let me get like a you know a couple bottles of water karen drink pee do what you got to do but i don't know i feel like karen is really jumping to conclusions and that and those tests could be wrong she only took two i would have been like karen Look, here's some water. Take five more. I need to be sure. <laughs> God, you know, I'm going to roll that dice. <laughs> it's like, hit me. It's positive. Hit me. It's positive. Hit me. It's positive. Zach, I've already taken eight tests. Hit me. Hit me. <laughs> it's like you're past 21. I would have been like, yo, you got to keep going. You got to keep going. But something else that I need to know. In last week's episode, after Karen sent Aaron away, who came to the salon to see her, and Pam kind of vouched for him, you know what? I actually do like him. You need to give him a chance. She just leaves, and I'm like, wait a minute, where's she going? But then at the end of the episode, when Zach came over, she said she's pregnant. I'm like, oh, so did Karen go take a pregnancy test? Did she go to the doctor? No, she pretty much said I didn't take a test or go to the doctor. So 
Where the hell did Karen go between when Aaron left the salon and when Zach got to the salon at the end of the episode? I need to know. Some people were like, she probably went to go get a pregnant girl's pee. Ew. <laughs> but then that leads to the whole Pam thing. I do not think Pam peed on those tests for Karen. Because of the fact that Pam stepped away after, you know, Zach and Karen, you know, went in on her. Because as soon as uh, Karen was like, Pam, if you tell a soul, you're fired. Okay, okay, I'm gone, I'm gone. She goes to another part of the salon. Karen goes to the restroom. And, you know, she takes a while because she said I didn't have to pee. And I'm just like, mm, I'm just throwing this out there. How do we know? How do we know that Karen took a few tests before coming out to see Zach? I wonder if she played pregnancy test roulette. I don't know exactly how many tests were in that bag that Zach had, but we only saw her come out with what? Two, right? Two. What if she peed on a cup? Oh, sorry, computer notification i need to delete some of my stuff is low on storage basically what if she took a couple of tests and they came back negative and then she decided nope i need to do what i can to max this out. i need to make sure zach stays with me or whatever let me take a couple more and you're probably wondering well jeremy i kind of see where you're going with this but she came out put the things on the table and told Zach we got to wait for the results. Why would she do that running the risk of them actually showing up negative? Mm -hmm. Maybe she read the box and it's like, okay, this test has like a 60% chance of being accurate. The other ones I took were 70 and above. I want to roll the dice. I don't know. I don't think Pam would do something where she would try to do something like pee on the sticks for her or, you know, let's say Karen got Pam to do it. I mean, we saw Pam getting on like what once in that club before or whatever but i think that given how pam was genuinely concerned and would be a friend and a helping hand to karen like hey i'm good at babysitting i don't think pam would do that i honestly don't think she would do that um i really don't but i do feel like there are so many things that karen hasn't done or we haven't seen on screen or gotten confirmation for that makes this entire thing seem incredibly shady from her just randomly disappearing in the last episode and we don't know where she went. Well, apparently we know she didn't get a test or anything. And then in this episode, her saying that it's taking a while for her to take the pregnancy test because she didn't have to pee. It reminds me of uh, the haves and the have nots where after Amanda's funeral, Candace confronted Melissa and then all three of them went to the Sarandon Hotel. And I think it was Jeffrey or Candace who had a bag full of pregnancy tests and they made Melissa go in the bathroom to take the test. They're like, how long does it take? And Ken's like, little girl, you better hurry up. I want to come in there. And then she comes out and it turns out she's positive. So I'm just wondering if there's some foul play going on. I don't know. Because we see how delusional Karen is. And I just wonder what's going to happen when and if Aaron finds out. Which I will do a separate video on that. Because I do feel like that in itself deserves its own video for context. But overall... I don't think Karen should have jumped to the conclusion of being pregnant. I think that there needs to be a professional doctor who checks not only to see if she's indeed pregnant, but to see how far along she is, because that could actually help us out with determining if Zach is or isn't the father. Also, um, I really wish we knew where Karen went in the last episode. And of course, you know, Zach pretty much said, hey, you know what? You got to do what you got to do. Do what you feel is best. Um... But I'm just fearful that something's going to happen because like that doctor said, women 35 and above run the risk of pregnancy and birth complications. So I would hate to have something happen to this baby, but I don't know. I don't know. I think that she should go to this doctor and after all the stress and crap Karen has been through recently, she might be at like a high risk for pregnancy complications. So only time will tell. Um... I feel like this could possibly be one of the better baby daddy stories Tyler Perry has written if he does it right. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, do you think Karen just took a bad pregnancy test? Do you think it's too early to, you know, get confirmation on anything? 
this should be very interesting. I'm very, very eager to see what you all have to say in the comment section. For any women out there who have experienced pregnancy or somebody you know has been pregnant and you know a hell of a lot more than I do, feel free to chime in. If there are any men out there, let's say you have a girlfriend, fiance, wife who's gone through pregnancy, so you have more insight as to what, um, what this process is like. Let me know if any of the research I found is incorrect. But, you know, overall, it seems that there are multiple reasons why a woman would be not pregnant, even if they missed their period. And those tests that Zach bought, who knows? I don't know. But, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, Like I said, I'll probably just do one more separate video about Aaron and the pregnancy, and that's about it. I'm not going to talk about this anymore until uh we get the promo for next week assuming you know and i'm assuming that has anything to do with the pregnancy stuff and uh that's about it so like and subscribe if you want to donate to the channel feel free to do so on paypal or cash app and with that being said i'll talk to you later